and welcome back to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Brian and today we're going to look at modifying imported geometry through some surfacing techniques. Uh, now this is going to be a two-part tech tip and in this first part we're going to do a manual method. We'll take a look at some individual surfacing tools and a workflow of how to use those together to get this job done. And then in part two I'll show a couple other techniques that consist of uh, other tools that sort of automate this manual process we'll see in this part. The goal of this modification is to add a thickness to the plate but keep all the other geometry where it is. So what I'm going to start with is creating a sketch of the top face of this plate. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the Convert Entities tool. But note when I pre-select that face it only gives me the perimeter around the rectangle of the plate. So what I have to do instead is kick off the Convert Entities tool, pre-select that face, and then choose the Select All Inner Loops button in the Convert Entities Property Manager. And what that will allow me to do, or allows the tool to do, is to grab all those edges of the pockets and holes, and then I can convert entities that front face again to get that outer perimeter. This sketch represents all the edges of the imported geometry that I need to extend up to create the thickness of this plate. So I'm going to go ahead and kick off the extrude surface command and select the sketch that I just created. Now I'm going to extend the edges that we created the sketch up, up by 20 millimeters and this will act as the wall for the extended geometry that later we're going to go through and, and combine this back together with. Now that we have the walls for our extended geometry, we need a roof for it. And the way that we're going to create the roof is we're actually going to copy the original face of the imported geometry and move the shape of that face up to where our surface extrude is. And the way we're going to do that is by using the offset surface command and choosing an offset distance of 20 millimeters, which will put that new face directly at the top of the extruded walls that we created. Notice that the edges of our new surfaces are showing up in blue instead of black. Uh, that means that those surfaces are not knit together. They don't know that their edges meet and we want to make sure we tie those together uh, before we move on to combining it with the other half of the geometry. To do this we're going to pre-select all the surface bodies from the feature tree and kick off the knit surface command and then select OK. Now notice that the edges are now showing up in black in between all of those surface bodies and we have one total surface body and one solid body left in the model here. Now the next goal is to get that surface knit to the original imported solid. I'm going to hide the surface body that we just created so that I can see the imported solid and in order to combine these two I'm first going to turn this solid geometry into a collection of surfaces itself. And to do this I'm going to use the delete face tool and I'm going to delete the original top face of the imported geometry. That will turn that into a collection of surface bodies and now I'll turn on the surfaces that we created and then now we're going to use the knit surface command again. Now the reason that I turned those into surfaces is when you go to knit surface bodies together that form an enclosed volume the create solids checkbox will become available and it will turn that knit of surfaces into a solid geometry. Notice that there's model edges where the surface bodies met after that knit was complete. Under the knit surface command there's another checkbox called merge entities that allows you to merge faces with the same underlying geometry. After that step that leaves us with uh, one solid body that is now 20 millimeters thicker than the original import. Thanks for joining me on this tech tip. Don't forget about part two coming soon. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.